Hey friends, welcome to One Little Coder. In this video, we are going to look at a new Python package that's called Image Maker, IMG, M A K E R. It's by Minimaxer, so whose name is Max Wolf. Um, it's a nice package for you to create uh, some image with uh, text on it. Uh, so usually, uh, if you see memes are made this way. So let's go ahead and get started with this package. I'm not going to explain you what you can use this package for. I'll leave uh, it up to your creativity because you can create a lot of things. Uh, we'll just look at what those things you can do it. But first, we'll go ahead and then install this package. If you want to understand how this package works, you can just see uh, the little bit of description here. So it basically uses um, Google Chrome uh, via Selenium to generate this image um, with uh, the text on it. And for the text, uh, they're using Python templating with uh, Jinj2. And uh, yeah, so that's that's a very basic uh, introduction. So the description is, uh, it helps you create high quality images programmatically with um, hackable templates. So let's say you're going to run a Twitter bot or a Reddit bot or something like that and where you have to constantly generate new images so you can probably use this. Otherwise, if you do not want to get into this fun part, let's say you're a um, photographer and uh, you want to constantly watermark your images with a single template, uh, once again, Python is there for your rescue and you can use this package to watermark your images, um, especially if you want to share it on social media, uh, you can do it with uh, this package. So let's go ahead and install this package. I'm going to do everything within my VS code uh, for simplicity. So if you do not have Python extension for VS code, just go to your extension setup and then install your Python. So that, that's quite handy, VS code is really handy. So go to your terminal, new terminal, and um, py, pip install img maker. So this will install this package and uh, as you have seen here, so you also need the comb driver and please make sure that you have got um, Google Chrome installed. So when I first tried this package, I didn't have Google Chrome on my machine. So it was throwing a Chrome binary missing error. So that is one thing. And then the other thing that I faced is when I first installed this package, I uh, YAML package was missing. Um, so if you do not have that thing, please install PyAML package. If In case if you get that error, you have to install PyAML package. So that's just a heads up, but I hope uh, you don't have those problems. I've specifically created a folder for this um, um, project and uh, that is image market demo. And the reason I've created a folder is because uh, when you download the Chrome driver uh, for your Selenium background thing, this is where the driver going, it, it will get downloaded. So image maker, so it's better to keep it in one folder. Uh, or if you want to create a virtual uh, environment, so that's uh, that's up to you. Chrome driver. So based on your operating system, it's going to download the Chrome driver. Okay, so it says it has downloaded the Chrome driver. Let's go and check. Okay, so you can see that Chrome driver is installed. And I've also created a Python file. So let's now go to his documentation and then first try to do exactly like what he has suggested us to do. So from image maker, let's... Um, Import image maker, image maker i, we are initializing it. And uh, let's generate an image. And um, um, this this is what we would ultimately get. So let's try to run it. Mm, let's see if it's executing. Okay, so it's trying to listen the Chrome side. Oh, it's, it's executed. Let's go ahead. Okay, I think the problem is because the output images um, saved here just go to the folder where i have this image maker okay now let me run it so that this image gets generated here so ultimately we can give the path the generate function if you see the tutorial you would see that you can give the path let me just You can give the path and generate as far as um, I guess, but it's it's simpler for us to go here and run it and you can open the image and see. Oh, that's it. So you've got the image, the title and then the subtitle. So let's hack it a bit. Let's say, okay. Um, let's see what are all the parameters that we can give. So you, you can give title, you can give subtitle and you can define the color. And if you want to define custom, CSS, you can do that. So let's just copy this 
and say okay and to do this oops copy paste and i'll say image maker demo i'll uh, simply say from one little code okay okay so from one little coder color the color we can say is dark is fine and i don't want any custom css um that's that's completely okay um let's run it so it's getting installed we can actually see that it has successfully ran oops okay so image maker demo from one little coder so the image is successfully created so that's the first um, basic use case of this but i think a lot of us um, might be interested in doing the other things like um, creating meme or watermarking so let's go to the tutorial and just have a brief look at it so first meme so meme if you see the parameters it takes four parameters one background you have to define the background image second you have to give the top text then bottom text so which would generate something like this so let's leave mona lisa and if i want to pick some popular meme i don't know popular meme let's see first popular meme what is popular meme okay uh, most famous internet memes all time i think uh, let's take this kid uh, meme kid where is a kid okay oops okay let me not take any kid i don't want to get into any kid issue so i'll just take this image which has been there on internet every now and then view image okay so i've got this image from uh, pocket lint probably so i'll go here i'll say um i want to give sorry i'll just remove this okay we'll uh, give these parameters so first we have to initialize it with meme and then say uh, within meme you have to say uh, our background okay let's hope it works without that and uh, top text is r versus python we'll say bottom text is learn sql first okay let's see if it works out uh, let's see our luck mm, it's saying image maker oh sorry i am extremely sorry it should be inside generate i dot generate and uh, i is equal to uh, image maker instance so it's generating uh, it's listening to the dev tools and let's hope if we have an image let's see oh great so r versus python learns equal first uh, that's nice so we have successfully managed to generate a meme uh, from this tool so that is good and the third use case that we just talked about is watermarking the image which is to say that you have an image you have a background let's say something that you created and um, you want to add a text branded text something like this so you can do that so the way we have to do is we have to generate it with watermark and then we have to say what is your left text what is your right text and uh, as you can see this text it takes um, markdown so um, let's let's do this thing for a different one okay so let's take image generate and um, let's say i have uh, I have a natch unsplash let's say uh, unsplash we'll take some picture from unsplash and then we'll try to generate an image that will um, give credit to the unsplash okay let's take this image 
copy image location okay so we'll say a background oops. background is this okay okay it's not necessarily giving the image okay if you want uh, it to be downloaded let's say inspect element uh, we need the image right or let's give it a try let's give it a try with the url that we got so we'll get to know whether it uh, takes let me just copy paste it okay it, it gives okay and um, the username is neil left text i'll say mm, by what is the picture's name do we have any name of this picture girl in the rain okay girl in the rain icon and branded text uh, nails twitter okay i'll just remove this for now so this the format is very simple uh, you will load image maker library you initialize an instance and then from that you generate it's generate oh something is wrong what is wrong Okay, that's my mistake once again. I didn't, I missed a comma. Mm, I don't want to linter ash off now. Cool, so it's listening to the dev tools. Let's see what we get. It's done. So let's go and then see. Okay, so Girl in the Rain by Neil Johnson. Neil Johnson. Oh, that's quite nice. Uh, so you can actually see that. Um, uh, this this library uh, image maker by Minimaxer is really helping us in creating programmatically. So that's the main point, right? So now this is part of your uh, Python code. So it doesn't matter whether you are building machine learning model or whether you are uh, um, uh, a web, web developer, or full stack developer, whatever it is. This is just three lines of Python code that will help you programmatically generate really good quality images that can uh, be used for anything that anything you want and you can also see that you can create your own template so whatever we use now um, as you can see watermark meme this is all inbuilt template but you can create your own template and then you can use the template so for example like we used meme so you can create something called demo.html which is like your own template and then you can use that custom template to generate some image so you can see what um, the documentation is provided so this is using this demo.html and it's an old template so that's the point the point is uh, you have an html template and using that html template basically it renders in the browser and takes a screenshot after embedding the text and it gives you it's quite a handy package and uh, if you are someone who loves to use python for uh, fun you can definitely give uh, this package a try and um, as a side note uh, this author is also developer yeah, author or developer. Minimaxer is also accepting donations. You can sponsor on GitHub. Um, so you can go to Patreon and sponsor the developer. So this developer, uh, it can help this developer or probably motivate. If you are um, not very comfortable or if you are not financially strong to do any of those things, at least please star the GitHub repo. So that will be an appreciation for uh, the developer. So I hope uh, this, this video was quite helpful for you and um, let's see uh, if you can make some uh, memes or um, uh, some kind of uh, images with this. So I would love to see it. Um, if you have any feedback, let me know in the comment section and um, I would see you in the next video with some other tips. Thank you for watching. Take care. Bye-bye.